hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting video tutorial in my channel this is the very first adobe after effect tutorial that i am going to do i've never done an adobe after effect tutorial and this video also is with the voiceover that you guys have been asking for such a long time so finally it is here and one more thing guys if the voice quality is not good so please do forgive me for that because it's been a very long time since I've done a voiceover video and with the passage of time it will improve so I'm just asking for a little bit of patience and uh, I do apologize for any inconvenience that I might cause you so let's get started with this tutorial first of all I'm going to create a new composition you can name your composition anything I'm going to name it text animation The aspect ratio I am going for full HD, you can go for anything that you like um, but I would uh, suggest that you keep the frame rate uh, something near to 30 frames uh, duration of the composition or our sequence animation more than 10 seconds is more than enough background color does not matter because we are going to create our own custom background color so let's click OK once you are here the first thing I am going to do I'm going to hit Ctrl V on the keyboard to bring in my color palettes that I've already created. I'm going to provide the codes of these color palettes in the end of the video, just like I always do. I'm just going to lock these layers because we don't need these layers. We are just going to need their colors. So once that's done, let's go and select the type tool and click in your composition. I'm going to write my first word okay let me tell you something about this text this text font is Montserrat or Montserrat whatever it is pronounced and I'm going for semi bold of course you can change these settings you can go for any type of font size that you like and also it does not matter the size you want to make it big or small it will also fit in once you have decided about the font style which one you like select the eyedropper tool and click on this purple color that's the first color of our first text now the second thing we need to do is align our text to the center of the composition to do that we first need to uh, center its anchor point as you can see it is a little bit out of place to center it, select the pen behind tool or it is also called or known as anchor point tool. Once you have selected it, you can now move the anchor point and place it anywhere. Anchor point is like the center of gravity for a text or a shape inside Adobe After Effects uh, because it is the point where it will rotate and do most of its animations from. So to set it to the mirror, you can manually do it or the easy way is to do it with a shortcut and for example let me show you if the anchor point is situated right over here you can do it manually or you can just hold the control key on the keyboard and double click on the pen behind tool and it will center it to the middle of the a shape or the text the whatever it is selected once the anchor point is in the middle go to the align panel and align your text to the center of the composition like so once that's done now we need to pre-compose this text shape click pre-compose the name of the shape is okay but you can change it if you like for better organization one thing i would like you to do do is move all attributes into the new composition and then click OK. OK, once that's done, now we are going to select the type tool again and going to write our second text and that is graphic. Once you have done that, go to the character panel again. If it's not open, click on the eyedropper tool and select this purple color again not the yellow one but the purple one 
actually the text was not selected so now we are going to select the purple color okay once that's done align this text also to the middle of the composition just like before once that's done recompose this layer also recompose and move all attribution to the new composition and now place this text layer below the first text layer and turn its visibility off once that's done select the first text layer and go to the effects drop down menu and come down to the transition effect and select the card wipe effect this one and once it is selected make sure that your time indicator or current time indicator is on the first keyframe you can check it here that it is on the first or zero keyframe and now we are going to change some of its setting click on the stopwatch of the transition completion and now change its value percentage to zero and now move your time indicator to about 22 seconds you can check it here it's two seconds and now complete the transition completion of its percentage to 100 percent that once that's done come down to the bake layer and change it from how to to graphic text the other text that we created which visibility is turned off this one now change the number of rows from 9 to 22 and change the number of columns from 12 to 55 and also change the time randomness from 0 to 0 0.6 and now we are going to just tweak a little bit of more of the settings come down to the position jitter and make sure that your time indicator is on the zero keyframe again and click on the z jitter amount it's z jitter amount or z jitter amount and zero on the first keyframe is okay move the current time indicator to one second and now change this video to 15 and now move the current time indicator again to two seconds and change this video back to zero so at the zero second mark this amount the jitter amount is zero and then on the one second it comes down to 15 second or 15 video and then on the two second mark that video is again zero so once that's done our animation will look something like this okay i hope you find that cool now let's make some more changes because this animation on itself is okay but we need a little bit more of its tweaking now we need to make a background layer because this white or creamy color does not look good i've already selected the background color for it go to layer and select from the new layers a new solid name it bg meaning background and select its hydro tool and select this color and click ok and now select click and drag the background layer below every other layer in your composition like so so everything is visible once the background is set let me introduce a little bit more animation into our current text animation go and select the first text and click ctrl d on the keyboard to duplicate it once that's duplicated go to the effect drop down menu and select the fill effect it's in generate fill effect once the fill effect is selected click on its eyedropper tool and click on this yellow fill color and now let's change some of its videos here change its time randomness from 0.6 to 0.7 or you can increase it you can play around with these settings if you like and now when you are on the first or zero keyframe click on the x and y jitter amounts and then move the current time indicator to one second and change both of these values to two second
and now move the current time indicator to two seconds and change this video back to zero once you've done these steps our current animation would look something like this as you can see it's a pretty cool animation before changing from pink in text to purple text it changed slightly in the middle to this yellow color to keep your layers in organization rename this layer i'm going to call it middle layer but you can call it whatever you like now to add the second part of our text animation to the third text we are going to move our current time indicator by five seconds make sure that you are on the two second mark or your current time indicator is on the two second mark and hold on the control key on the keyboard and hit the right arrow five times it's going to move your time indicator by one frame so now we are on the 2.5 second mark once we are here i'm going to create a new text i'm going to write graphic once again the same text with the same font that I, we have written before okay once that's done i'm going to select it and align it to the middle of our panel with the, using the align panel just like before i'm going to add or turn off the visibility of our other two layers once this layer is in the middle i'm going to keep its color the same just like we have done here before i'm just going to pre-compose this layer just like before move all attributes into the new composition and click ok ok once that's done now select the type tool again and write our last text and we are going to name this text design actually i just messed up the name or the spelling ok design now center it to the middle of your composition again just like before okay once you have aligned your text to the middle of your composition go to the character panel and change its color from purple to this blue color like so and once that's done right click on your text layer and pre-compose it and move all attributes into the new composition just like before and click ok once that's done and you are on the 2.5 second mark select both of your text and hold the alt key on your keyboard and also press with it the open bracket key it will cut those layers just like you can see it here and now select the other three layers and hold the alt key again and hit the close bracket key with it and it's going to cut it now if i can show you by increasing the size of the layer panel you can see that these layers are going to be only visible till this point and then they will disappear and these layers will start to appear after this point okay i hope you get that point once that's done select your design layer and bring it below your graphic to layer text layer and turn its visibility off again turn on the visibility of your other two layers that we have hidden before okay once that's done we are going to select our graphic to layer and apply the card wipe effect to it again just like we did it before okay now go to the transition completion and click on the stopwatch and change this percentage to zero and drag your current time indicator to 4.5 second and change its value to 100 percent and change its back layer from graphic 2 to design 1 and change the number of rows from 9 to 22 and columns to 55 by the way these videos are not set in row and you guys can experiment with it you might get even better result if you play with it these are the results that i think give me best result when i made it okay now change the value of the time randomness from 0 to 0.6 again and bring your time, current time indicator to 2.5 second mark and change the position 
of the Z jitter amount by clicking its stopwatch and now take your current time indicator to 3.5 seconds if you are having difficulty moving it with the mouse in the time panel here you can use the control and arrow keys in the keyboard to do it precisely okay now change this value to 15 and move the current time indicator to 4.5 seconds and change this video back to zero once that's done our animation should sound, look something like this okay the animation looks good now we are going to insert this green color layer into the middle of these two layers select the graphic tool layer and hit ctrl d on the keyboard once that's done change the name of your a second layer and name it middle layer 2 okay now select the middle layer 2 and go to the effect drop down menu and apply the fill effect once the fill effect is here click on its eyedropper tool and select this green color we are going to also change some of its values click on the time randomness to be 0.7 rather than 0.6 okay and now change its values of jitter amount click on the x and y jitter amount and move your current time indicator to 3.5 seconds and change these values to 2 Now move your current time indicator to 4.5 seconds and change these values back to 0. Once you have done all these things, your all animation should look something like this. So the animation should look something like this. First of all, the first text change into the second one and then it's changed into the third text. I hope you guys like this animation and you can use it and its principles in your own way. Of course, you can use it on logos or any other shape. I just use the text layer for it. I hope you guys like this tutorial and please let me know what about the voiceover and the audio quality because I was really nervous because I have not done audio videos in a very long time and i am not experienced with it but with your love and support and your tips that you guys always give me on how to improve my videos hopefully in the near future inshallah this problem will also be resolved and you will have more clear and more crisp and clean audio with videos so till next time thank you and bye for now